Yeah. Okay, so there's going to be an interview of some sort. Um, so Jim is uh, going to put some makeup on me because I've decided that that's that's the way forward. So here we go. So we've come to watch the Chinese opera, and it's it's outside. So uh, I'll I'll show you what I can. So we've just come out of the Chinese opera, which is called the Song of Everlasting Sorrow, and it was like nothing I've ever seen. Uh, both uh, Charlie's with me, and both me and Charlie, it was amazing. Incredible. So, last time I tried to do this, I had a bit of a technical issue with the camera, so I'm starting again. Here's a little tour of the centre in China. So our first stop's the play area, and uh, this is the play area for naught to ones and it's just a space that they can hang out and, and play around before lessons or after lessons. And the reason they have it in the conservatory is because they want to encourage the kids to get out and get a lot of daylight because uh, there's not a lot encouraging the kids to get out and get daylight here so um, there are some issues with vitamin D deficiencies and their way of tackling that is to give them a, um, a safe enclosed space to play in um, but, but that has good light in it. Clever. bit is um, up onto the swimming level. We're on the second floor of the building now and they have two pools in here. I'll show you in just a second. Um, but this is changing as well. Let's go and have a look. Just whilst we're on our way up to the gallery, I thought I'd show you um, what they call the library and um, education obviously is a really big thing so um, they've got a space dedicated to, to books and educational play. So I'll just show you around that. Up to the viewing gallery. So that wraps up the tour. Um, of the Xi'an Water Baby Centre. It's an impressive place, it's, a, it's been a lot of fun to visit, the team here are great, the kids have been brilliant and it's been a really good trip. Um, but it's, it's time to go home.